to perform this task. I commit this specific assignment into your hands right now. Yes, Lord. I pray that you will send the anointing that makes the preaching and the teaching easy. Yeah. I pray for my brethren on the Zoom platform as well as on the Facebook platform that Lord, you will touch their hearts yes, and that the word of God will be ministered in a simple and in a clear way that all may understand, appreciate, and receive, and act on in Jesus' name. Amen and yeah. amen. So Jesus said, you didn't choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, that your fruit should remain. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This verse tells us four main things. It tells us that you and me did not choose Jesus, but Jesus chose us. And that's a blessing right there. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. That out, out of all of the people in this world, he looked at good old me, bad me, unrighteous me, undeserving me and chose me, did the same for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The second main thing that this verse tells us is that there was a purpose to his choosing. Purpose being, he appointed you and me that we might go and bear fruit. Yes. Did you see that? Yes. Thirdly, that that fruit will last. Yes. It will last. And fourthly, that whatsoever you ask in Jesus' name, the Father will give it Amen. to you. Fulfilling the call of God in choosing us to bear fruit that will last, in choosing us so that whatsoever we ask the Father in his name, we will receive. He has really put a call upon our lives. He has called us. Yes, and there are five things that I'd like to say briefly. Number one, don't deny the call. Deny not the call. You see, from the beginning, God has been calling man. Adam, where are you? Abraham, here am I. Lord, Moses from a burning bush, Samuel in the house of God, Saul on his way to Damascus. One day he called you. Yes. I don't know where you were. Yeah. I know where I was. Yeah. I don't know what situation you or condition you were in or under. Some of you might have been in a drunk, in a state of drunken stupor. Some of you might have been in church. Some of you might have been just wandering aimlessly through life, but called, he called you. Amen. 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 Do not deny that call. Know that there is a call upon your life. He called you. He saved you. And he saved you that you might serve him. 
He saved you so that you might serve others. He saved you that you might bring others into his kingdom. He saved you that if you're a parent, you might get your children saved. Hallelujah. Even, amen. Whenever the time comes, he saved you. Amen. And do not, and he called you and do not deny that call. Maybe you might be in a state of discouragement this morning. Or maybe you have forgotten that call. Amen. And or in that state of discouragement, you are wondering, well, did God really call me? Amen. Or what was the, the, the purpose that he chose me out of everyone in the street, out of everybody in the house, out of everybody in the workplace. Hallelujah. Why did he choose me out of all my kinfolk? I am the only one that is saved. Why did he choose me? Amen. There was purpose to it. There was a reason why he saved you. Yeah. Amen. He saved you and you notice he didn't take you into heaven right away. Personally, I might have preferred that. So I wouldn't go through all of the situations that I have, all the negative things and have to make decisions. Hallelujah. And to, to, to deal, amen, with so many negative things that come. Personally, I would have wished he, when he saved me, take me right away. Amen. Hallelujah. I would have escaped all that problem, but he didn't. The same thing happened to you. Amen. And maybe like you, like me, you are saying, you know, God should have done that to me as well. So I would escape all of the problems of life. But he didn't, my dear friend. He saved you. Amen. And left you on this earth. Yes, we know that we have a hope. Hallelujah. Beyond this grave. That when we die, we would live again. And that heaven will be a home. Hallelujah. That where Jesus has gone. Amen. Hallelujah. We will go also. Amen. But until such time, why? While we are waiting on the bus to take us over there, hallelujah, let me tell you, my dear friend, there is work to be done, and we are his hands extended, we are his eyes and feet upon the face of this earth, and do not, amen, deny that call, amen, it is clear, it is ambiguous, it is unambiguous hallelujah it is my dear friend a clear call from it is a loud call upon your life do not deny it and i notice that some unsaved people you really don't know the lord that's what i mean at this point in time he's calling you he's saying come amen and I will save you. Come, hallelujah. I will make somebody out of you. Hallelujah. Will you come to him? Will you answer that call? I'm telling you, my dear friend. Amen. Hallelujah. From the moment that he called me, amen. I am not saying that I have not made errors. I've made some grave errors. Hallelujah. But from the moment he called me, hallelujah. I made up my mind that I will answer that call. I will be a faithful man. Hallelujah. I will serve God to the end. Hallelujah. And if there will be one on this earth, hallelujah, who will be saved when he comes, I put up my hand and say, I will be that one because I've answered that call. I have made a stand. Amen. To serve him hallelujah until the end amen and I encourage you today my dear friend to do the same answer the call do not deny it amen secondly discover your area of calling no we are a diverse people we have different training, different background. We have different races and have different cultural um, um, backgrounds and so on. Amen. 
Our thinking is not the same. Uh, hallelujah. Our level of education may not be the same. Uh, amen. Some of you have more money, amen, than others. Uh, hallelujah. There are those uh, who might be, uh, hallelujah, what, what is referred to as Crunters, not singers, but people without money, you're more, you're less than hand to mouth. Amen. You are the point where you depend on persons and so amen. All of that is that we are a, 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 a people with a, a diverse situation and varied situations. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to tell you, my dear friend, that the variety is what makes it all better, hallelujah. There, and similarly, there is a, a diversity of calling because not everybody else, everybody could be the same thing, hallelujah. If all the trees were one tree, what a great tree that would, have, would be. If all the seas were one sea, what a great sea that would be. If all the axes were one axe, what, uh, what an axe that would be. And if that great acts. Amen. And if all the men were one, one man, what a great man that will be. And if that great man took that great axe and cut down that great tree that fell into that great sea, what a great splish splash that would be. You understand what I'm saying? It is monotonous. It would be a big ball of confusion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Not everybody is called, amen, to the same calling. Amen. You are called, and God has given you motivational gifts, which we studied um, repeatedly at our church. Hallelujah. But there is a gifting and a calling upon your lives. Hallelujah. You're called to serve. Some of us are called to be ministers. Some are called to be helps. Some of us are called, amen, to be worship leaders. Hallelujah. Some of us are just called to be encouragers. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something my dear friend, if we have no encouragers in the church, hallelujah, and in the kingdom, I tell you, my dear friend, we would be lacking, sadly lacking, but God in his wisdom and God, hallelujah, in his great plan has so designed it that every area of the building, amen, is well fitted and joined together that the building is not lacking. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Amen. And so I ask you to recognize what your calling is. Amen. Find out, hallelujah, what God has called you to do and to be in this big kingdom of his uh, in this vast, uh, amen, uh, um, uh, uh, see, uh, um, picture, hallelujah, in the goal and the plan that he has for us, uh, hallelujah, as a church and as a world and as a people, amen, discover the calling, hallelujah, amen, not all of us, uh, hallelujah, are called to do the same thing, and when you discover, hallelujah, what your calling is, work in your calling, work in the area that you're called, amen, to work be a team player. Hallelujah. We belong to one team. Jesus is the captain of this team. Hebrews refer to him as the captain of our horse, the captain of our salvation. He is, amen, the leader. He's the skipper. He's the one that is leading us. Amen. But we are all members, members, amen, in particular of one team. Amen. Be a team player, hallelujah. If I can use the uh, um, uh, cricket as an example, hallelujah. You know, a man might be selected to be a batsman, hallelujah. But in the game of cricket, uh, hallelujah, you bat, uh, you bat, and uh, and then you field, hallelujah. Well, let me tell you something. You might be an opening batsman or very good at it, or you might be the star batsman that comes in one down, which is 
is number three. Hallelujah. Everybody expect you to perform, to be a prolific scorer and so on. Amen. And you post a good total. You make a ton. Hallelujah, which is a century. And you're going on. The innings come to a close, sadly. Hallelujah. And now it's your turn to feel. Amen. Not because you are a specialist batsman and you go out to field. They put you, amen, in some position. Might be covers. It might be silly mid on. Or it might be just some place out there. Hallelujah. And a catch comes your way. Amen. You don't just fold your arms and say, well, I'm a batsman. Amen. I don't have to catch no ball. Or I don't have to run behind and save a, a, a boundary. Amen. Be a team player. Hallelujah. Amen. Be a team player. Hallelujah to the Lamb. There must not be selfishness. Hallelujah. Discover your calling. Be a team player and also be available. Hallelujah. You are not the best. I am not the best. I know that some of you have been posting how good I look this morning. And my God, that did something for me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Reverend Price is smiling, right? Hallelujah. Listen, my friend, I'm not an officer at this thing. Hallelujah. I appreciate your compliments and all of that. Amen. But hear me, friend. Amen. I must be available. When the call comes, when it's time for me to field, I must be fielding. Amen. And if the skipper calls me, amen, he throws the ball. Amen. As a as um uh, as uh, the Western End skipper did the other day, he gave the ball to a wicket keeper. Amen. And you know what? The wicket keeper took the ball, and uh, you know he almost got a man out. Amen. He bowled a long hop. In fact, it was not a long hop. It was uh, one of those uh, um, ball that comes straight to you. And the <laughs> The guy, the batsman hit the ball almost, hit it in the hands of somebody, someone. You understand what I'm saying? People, whatever you call to do, do it, friend. Do it, do it, do it. Hallelujah. Be available. When he calls on you, you must be there. When he calls your name, you must be present. When he says, hallelujah, do this, you must do this. Hallelujah. Come on. That's the second point. Discover your area of calling. Thirdly, depend on God. Hallelujah. Don't deny. Don't deny the call. All, uh, discover your area of calling hallelujah and depend on God depend on God this is not your work this is God's work we cannot do God's work without God I have a huge problem with that amen Amen. Hallelujah. I cannot do the work of God without knowing the mind of God, without knowing, hallelujah, amen, what he wants done and how he wants it done. Hallelujah. Amen. Then, then besides that, amen, the strength and the power and the energy comes from him. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. I will put my personality into the work. Work. Amen. That is just me. That is how I might be. Amen. I might get excited when I'm preaching. It's just me. Amen. When I'm preaching. But my friend, the power to perform, hallelujah, comes from God. You see, this is a spiritual work. Amen. This is not a natural work. This is not a political work. This is not, amen, a work to merely win people, amen, and win them to ourselves. This is not a popularity contest. And since we're on Facebook, amen, to know how many views that we get or didn't get, who is more popular than the others. I told my colleagues, hallelujah, it does not matter to me. My primary work, amen, is to the Aruka Worship Center, amen. And so long as I could minister to them. Hallelujah. I feel that I have done my work. But if there are others that join on, as there are those on Facebook, I welcome you and I'm glad, amen, that you can join. And if you're in this neck of the woods in Trinidad, amen, whenever the church is open, I welcome you to come and join this happy band. Amen. And unto glory go. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying, friend? It is not about numbers. Amen. That may have a place. Amen. But when we begin to do that, then we need to hire a secretary. Amen. To write down numbers. Amen. To say, hallelujah, how many people came? How many responded? How many was on the chat? How many participants? It's not about that, friend. Amen. It is about, amen, getting the work done. It is his work and he gives the strength. He gives the power. He gives the grace. He gives the anointing. Depend on God. Depend on him and him alone. Amen. He alone would lead you. He alone will guide you. He alone knows what to be done and how it is to be done. Depend on him. Plug into him. Abide in him and let him abide in you. My dear friend, let me tell you something. Winning a soul is never an easy thing. Hallelujah. We can use all our natural uh, uh, um, skills uh, of conversations and so on. Uh, how to win friends and influence persons. Uh, amen. We can read books, uh, motivational books. Uh, amen. And inspire persons. Uh, but you know, dear friend, uh, if their souls are not saved, if they're not convicted, uh, amen, that they're sinners uh, that need to be saved uh, and that there is a savior who has made provisions uh, to save them and accept him, they will never get saved. They might be won over to you. They might be won over to our church. Amen. But they will never be won over to the kingdom. Oh, amen to Christ. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says it's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. I'm talking today to somebody. Your spouse is not saved. Hallelujah to the Lamb. I feel it deep down in my soul. Amen. I feel a conviction that I'm talking to somebody whose spouse is not saved. And your, your argument is, I talk to them. I tell them, uh, hallelujah. Hear me, dear friend. Hear me, mister. Hear me, lady. It is not by might. It is not by power. It is not by human arrangement. It is not by man's ingenuity, but it is by the spirit of the Lord. Say the Lord of hosts. Depend on him. Hallelujah. He's the one that will save. He's the one that will draw. He is the one that will assign his angels. Hallelujah. To put pressure on the minds of persons. Hallelujah. And his, it is his spirit that will move upon the hearts of people so that when a altar call is made on invitation is given. Uh, amen. They would be ready. In other words, he it is who will prime the person. Amen. To be saved. Did you get that? Depend on God. Amen. Don't deny the call. Discover your area of calling and depend on God. Amen. Fourthly, develop good relationship with others. You will recall that I said a little earlier, hallelujah, that it is about teamwork. We ought to be team players. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. And since we are on one team, why don't we develop a good relationship with the others? Hallelujah. The others that is on the same team. Hallelujah. Because you know, my dear friend, that, that, that if we have that kind of relationship, if we have that camaraderie, it makes it easier for the team to move forward. Amen. You see the church. Amen. Amen. It is right. Glory be to God. And it is marching forward. It is marching forward. Amen. It is not stagnant. Glory be to God. It is dynamic. It is marching forward. Amen. Through the land. Glory be to God. And it helps. Glory be to God. When the team players are all on the same page. Amen. Now, granted. That not everybody might be on the same level. But think of it this way. If you have a newborn baby it come in, into your family and into your home, that baby cannot do what you as an adult are doing. That baby is dependent upon you to feed and change and clothe. Isn't that right? 
And you have, you've got to be patient with the baby. Amen. You have to, and in being patient, you are developing a relationship with that little one. Isn't that right? Amen. Now, granted, after three years, if that child is still lying down on the, uh, on the bed and on the crib and, and waiting on you to do everything for them, I mean, there's some things that you still need to do. Amen. But if after three years that child is not walking, you get worried. Amen. As a team player and as a supervisor and as a parent, I would get absolutely worried. I would begin to fast and pray. I would begin to find the best doctors, amen, to give me the best medical advice because I want to know what's happening to this child. Are you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. But in the normal, natural course of living, hallelujah, the child will grow and develop. Amen. But even when the child reaches 10, 12 years, the child academic or way of thinking may not be this at the same level of yours as a, an adult. Amen. Now, I'll tell you something. Young people especially feel that they're smarter than older people. Amen. And older people allow that. You just smile. Like myself. I smile. And I say, I've been there, done that. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, young people, what you are going through, and you feel you are now discovering the world. Amen. If you, okay, Cheryl, if you feel that you are discovering the world, your parents discovered it a long time before you. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to talk about who discovered Trinidad and Tobago because I will raise up Christopher Columbus, Christopher this and Christopher. And, but amen. In your world, your parents know this world better than you. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um, Maurice family. That's something like Marissa. <laughs> Hallelujah. Long time, my dear friend. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you know what? Members of your family, when they are in your family, they enjoy the same benefits that the rest of the family have. They come into the same standard of living. Amen. Yes. They come. Uh, yes, 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 Dr. Price. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They, they come into the same standard of living. Amen. Amen. And if you are this level, when they come into the family, they come at the same level. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So develop a relationship with, with other members of the family and accept them, even though they may not be up to your standard. And you bring them up to your standard. One of these days you might look back, uh, amen, and be grateful that you did. Hallelujah. Because that same one, amen, well said. Thank you, Kyle and Kevin. Amen. Because that same one who you took the time out, uh, hallelujah, to help to develop uh, will in turn uh, be able to stand for himself or herself. Uh, amen. And uh, when your time comes, uh, amen, uh, to be assisted, guess who will assist you? Those that you train. Yes. Amen. Those that you saved. Amen. And let us not think for the mature persons, hallelujah, that you will remain like how you are all the days of your life. The only person I know that is staying one, one way all the time is a certain pastor. I wouldn't call that person's name. Depend. Depend on God. Develop a good relationship with others. And finally, Determined to go to the end. Songwriter say, I am determined to turn on to oh, the end. The end. <laughs> to hold on <laughs> to the end. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Amen. We must have a mindset that I will complete this course. Oh, yes. The call is a noble one. It is an exciting one, but it is a difficult one. 
It is a spiritual one. And that is why, my dear friend, the arch rival of the one who has called us will make it, amen, as hard as possible for us to to, to, to do the work, to complete the call, to come to the end of it. He will throw obstacles. He will throw all kinds of difficult situations. He will bring about discouragements. He will bring about situ situations in your life. Amen. Family problem, financial problem. Amen. Interrelational issues. Hallelujah. I tell you, my dear friend, amen. I want you to see this for what it is. Amen. Why problem comes? Why do we get problems? Amen. Hallelujah. Problems. One of the reasons is that problems come into our lives as believers. Hallelujah. To make us believe that the word of God is not true, that the word of God is not working in our lives, that the word of God is vacuous, amen, and does not really mean what it says. But no, my friend, the word of God is settled forever in heaven. It is sure. It is a sure foundation. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And I'm saying, friend, that when discouragement comes your way, when situation comes that are at verse when there are things glory be to god that challenge your faith amen you must have that mindset i am determined to go to the end come hell on high waters i am going to make it hallelujah amen oh my dear friend thank you marissa hallelujah amen hallelujah i am determined i am determined i have decided that I will follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back, though none go with me, yet I will follow, hallelujah to the Lamb, amen, I am determined, glory be to God, even if things are not working out the way that I want it to work, hallelujah, I am determined, I have this kind of mindset, glory be to God, hallelujah, I say hallelujah, amen, friends rise up against me people who I thought amen amen would have remained amen with me glory be to God has dropped out or oh, amen they have let go of my hands or our hands as the case might be instead of holding up your hand amen they have let go or if they're still holding they're doing it for a show half-heartedly amen and shake and shakily Amen. But I'm saying, dear friend, hold on. Reverend Price, you say, press on. That's right. The ladies here telling me, amen. Press on to the end. Press on to the end. Like Paul say, amen. When he came to the end of his journey, what did he say? He said, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. Hallelujah. I fought a good fight. Amen. Listen, you cannot fight a fight unless there is a fight. And a fight tells me that there will be struggle. There will be an opponent. There will be, amen, a series of things and persons, amen, that will war against us. But oh, hallelujah to the Lamb, amen. We know we have the victory, but thanks be to God, amen, who give it us the victory in Christ Jesus. Nay, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ who strengthens us, amen. I am able, amen, according to the word of God, to do all things in Christ Jesus, Amen. Who strengthens me? Thank you, Rev. Thank you, Becky. Hallelujah. Thank you all. Hallelujah. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Be determined to go to the end. Be determined to go to the end. Come hell on high waters. You are going to make it. We will be saved. We will be saved. Hallelujah. He has called us, my friend. He has called us. And he has appointed us. He wants us our fruit. Amen. 
of fruit must remain. He say, hallelujah, that whatsoever you ask in my name, the Father will give it to you. Amen. This is part of the call of God. And today, amen, I've sought to, to encourage you in fulfilling this call. Amen. Don't deny that there is a call on your life. Don't deny it. Even if you don't understand it, say, Holy Spirit, help me. Thank you, Crystal. Holy Spirit, help me to discover. Show it to me. You are the great revealer. Reveal it to me. Hallelujah. What is my area of calling? And once I find out that area of calling, I will be, I will join the rest of the team. Amen. I wouldn't sit as a sub. I wouldn't sit as a, on the bench. I wouldn't sit as a reserve. I'm going to march up and take my place. Amen. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I'm going to force my way in. Hallelujah. I'm going to force myself in on that team. Hallelujah. And even though they put me, amen, to, to, uh, as a defender, hallelujah, I really am a striker. I will find myself up there. Somehow I will find myself, amen, and I will score goals. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Discover your area of calling. Depend on God. You cannot do it by yourself. None of us could. Uh, amen. We might have um, the, the education. We might have the training. Hallelujah. We might have, uh, amen, certain skills. Uh, amen. And we may even have charisma and looks, but that will not work, my dear friend. Uh, amen. It will take God and God alone. Uh, hallelujah. Depend on him. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you something. Hallelujah. My friend, uh, my friend, uh, your, some of you, your children need to be saved. Amen. Thank God that they are educated and they're trained. But listen, are they educated sinners? Listen to this, friend. Hallelujah. Education without salvation is damnation. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. Without salvation, they will never make heaven their home. And that is where it's more important. Amen. Education is important for here. It fits us for here. Hallelujah you may have, amen, the finances and the wealth, hallelujah, to see your children through. Okay, Becky, you love it. Amen. Education without uh, salvation is damnation. I repeat it just for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Or you may have the wealth. You may leave a, 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 a huge estate for your children. You know, somebody could outsmart them and they could lose every dime. Hallelujah. Every squinch of land that you work hard for. Amen. Glory be to God. So that is no guarantee. Amen. You, you children need to be saved. Get them saved. Hallelujah. And depend on God. Amen. Not your own wisdom, not your own understanding. Depend on God and be determined. Be determined to go to the end. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for this word that you have given to me this morning. It wasn't, Lord, an afterthought of anything. You gave me this word three weeks ago. Hallelujah. And I'm happy now, this morning, to deliver it. I thank you for all. All on the Zoom platform and the Facebook platform, who have heard this word, a word to fulfill the call of God. May none of us deny that call upon our lives. May we, O oh God, at whatever age or whatever state or stage we are in life, may we discover our area of calling. Some might be to help the poor more than others. Some might be to sing and to worship. Some might be to be an encourager. Hallelujah. Whatever. Let us discover our calling to be a team player. Be available. And God, may we never do anything by ourselves. Jesus, you say, without you, we are nothing. Without you, we are nothing. We depend on you, Lord. May we plug into you. May we abide in you. May, may we, oh God, dwell richly in you. And may your mind dwell richly in us. That we might depend on you. 
May we, oh God, I pray that we, each and every one of us, will develop good relationship with others, other members of the team. Hallelujah. Oh God, and those that are weak, help us to lift them up. And those that are strong, help us, oh God, to to keep them strong because this work must go on. And may we, Lord, I pray today, may we be determined to serve you to the end so that at the end we will be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. And when we appear before you, you will say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of my rest. Father, we are fully cognizant of the fact that you cannot lie. So you will never say well done if a work was not well done. Help us to put our all. Help us, oh God, to invest time, personality, talent, skills, even finances. Help us to invest whatever we can in your kingdom, in the powerful name of the living Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Father, I want to pray for those that are sick. Touch the sick. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to take communion a little bit, Lord. And we're going to pray in a special way for all that are sick. Hallelujah. But those that are on Facebook and will be leaving us shortly, Lord, I pray for them that you will touch in the name of Jesus Christ. Those with needs, supply the needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And as always, Lord, if you're going to use us, if you're going to use anybody, use the church. Use us so that we might be able to reach out. Reach out, Lord, with something that a needy family could at least make a meal to help in the name of Jesus Christ. Use us. We are your hands extended. Reaching out to, to the oppressed. So we reach out to you, Jesus. We want to touch you so that others may know and be blessed. Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. The Lord bless all of you real, real good. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. I want to ask all of the brethren that is on Zoom to stay with us. I have an important announcement to make right after the communion. But for all of our brethren on the uh, and all our guests on Facebook, I want to say thank you for staying with us and look out for us again. We will be back shortly with SOS. Those on Facebook will be back at 11 o'clock with SOS and some exciting thing, um, exciting um, uh, service get for our younger ones. And listen for the announcement at the end because we have VBS that is coming up to engage all of the children and younger ones at home. Amen. So those on Facebook that are leaving us, the Lord bless you. Thank you for staying with us. For the rest of the brethren,